Hey guys, welcome to Conditional Coding. Today I wanted to briefly discuss with you what is Django framework is and what is capable of and what are the major companies that are using Django and really benefiting the way how Django is structured and the actual Python language benefits that you are getting using the Django itself. So the actual Django framework built on top of Python and it supports the latest Python features with Python 3 so it's really useful just to get started with that and the actual benefits that Django is giving from the start and what I love about Django is that you are get getting the full uh, MVC framework right off the top and you don't really need to configure anything it's just adds up a lot of simplification right from the start and you don't have to think even about how to you uh, how you can properly configure your project it just comes out of the box and especially Django ORM which is the database connection that links to a many SQL type of databases is quite rich and re really functional when you even when you are trying to make some really complicated queries and don't forget that python is really meant to be a language for data scientists so you could probably have any kind of uh, data integrations that you want but the coolest features that django offers is first of all it's very easy to get started and uh, you have a lot of flexibility. You can write your own uh, middleware functionality and you have uh, pretty much like all of the templating features that you can get out of the box. And because that framework is uh, use, used by many late, large companies out there and it's quite a while that Django is around and a lot of versions that fixed issues. Django is really meant to be a polished uh, framework for building uh, rich web applications. But it doesn't mean uh, it really fits into modern era of having a React app with Django. You probably have to tweak a little bit uh, in order just to fit them together, but that's like different case uh, because the way Django is uh, designed in mind it's monolith application that you probably wanted to connect to some of the uh, like relational database try to fetch some data and probably visualize that in a way that business people can you know, get use of that data or you want to have some management tool so what i'm doing usually is whenever i'm building an application based on postgresql I usually uh, break down that application part into two sides. One of them is uh, probably a Node.js or Go based API, which provides all of the business logic and functionality that I need. And the other part is really a Django app, which is basically a management admin panel that goes uh, by default when I'm setting up Django and connecting uh, with the database. When I'm saying by default, it's literally by default. Uh, you don't have to code any UI to get started with the admin panel. And that's really one of the largest benefits that I'm getting using uh, app Django. Uh, and uh, for sure, there is a lot of business implications that you can find for a lot of large companies that why they're using a Django. Uh, and for example, uh, Instagram has uh, blog posts related to Django and uh, also Dropbox uh, pointing that they, they had a really huge benefit from using a Django. And especially because Django has this multi-application structure where you can split your application logic into small pieces and really 
block them out without using any functionality outside of the, that application besides like the generic uh, settings etc so the Django architecture itself is a monolith which means that it has a single entry point and it, it will run uh, as a single process although there is a services that breaking down into uh, concurrent asynchronous uh, processes but really Django meant to be run as a single execution process which means one request one sing single execution process and then shut down in a way it's very similar to uh, PHP frameworks but let's not jump into that words they are completely different but the overall request process is the same so there is a lot of companies that benefiting from Django let's say one of them uh, one of the major ones like Instagram they built on top of Django and uh, right now they have their own version of Django and because they grown so much they had to tweak a lot of stuff and because they have so much user overload they probably need to do something in order just to handle that much of a traffic but uh, really Django is enough handling like million plus users uh, at all so you don't have to uh, tweak anything it just quite performant by default so other companies like a uh, Dropbox using a Django quite heavily and companies like uh, Pinterest Udemy uh, Coursera or even the one of the major parts of the Atlassian Bitbucket a Trello like entirely built on top of Django so and if you take a look on the entire community of Django and how much stuff it's built on top of that and how much extension Django has with the middleware packages inside the Python community is just insane uh, how much effort the development community put it in this framework so that's why it is going to stay around for quite a while there is no risk of getting uh, this outdated so its community is supporting that and there is a lot of huge companies built on top of that and if it's it's really fair to say that almost all major companies has uh, at least one project built on top of Django because it's really easy to get started as a uh, database connected data visualization tool and because Python is really quite popular right now uh, for data scientists there should be some kind of a web framework connection to some of the machine learning models and how they can tweak the overall data infrastructure so that kind of stuff is really dependent on python and because django is part of that community it, there is a tons of jobs available uh, for someone who knows Django so if you are planning to learn Django as a second part of your web development journey let's say you want to build also a backend and really try to implement some of the stuff uh, on your own and build your own project Django is giving you a lot from the start and uh, that's why we are going to make uh, full bootcamp video here on our channel so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned uh, of our videos we are going to launch the Django tutor full tutorial if you have any other suggestions about technologies that we use together with the Django let's say you want to build an application with the react and the Django it's really uh, not that hard to configure but there is a specific cases that you have to uh, consider in order just to tie them together because Django is not really designed for that it's really about monolith but we also can tweak that together if you have any other suggestion uh, write the comment below and I'll get back to you uh, and we'll plan more videos like this